lesson, I'll show you how to take a simple 1-4-5 blues progression and open it up to a whole new world of possibilities using a chord sequence known as a 6-2-5-1. I'll walk you through how to play the rhythm changes as well as three great lines to get you started outlining these chords. My name is Jack Roosh. Welcome to my channel. Let's get into it. Before we get started, I have to say I love a simple 1-4-5 blues. I play these chord changes all the time. But with this limited amount of chords, there's not a lot of harmony to really sink your teeth into. And that's why when you hear jazz artists play the blues, you'll commonly hear chord sequences like a 6-2-5-1 in place of the normal 5 chord moving to the 4 chord. So let's get into what a 6-2-5-1 is. These numbers refer to the intervals that make up the root of each chord. And today we're going to be playing in the key of A. So when it comes to intervals, we're going to be dealing with the A major scale. So when we talk about the sixth chord, that is the chord built from the sixth note of the major scale. One, two, three, four, five, six. So the note F sharp. And the two chord is built from the second note of the scale, which would be B. And the five chord is built from the fifth note of the scale. One, two, three, four, five, which would be E. And then the one is the tonic, A. Now these chords can be different qualities, but generally the five chord is always gonna be dominant. And the six chord and the two chord can either be minor or dominant or some combination of that. For the purposes of today's lesson, we're gonna stick with a dominant six chord to a minor two chord to a dominant five chord and then resolving back to the one chord. Um, now this chord sequence gets plugged into a 12 bar blues starting in measure eight. And just for context, I'm gonna play rhythm right now to a backing track. And I'm just gonna play through one time doing a straightforward one, four, five blues using A7, D7, and E7. And then I'll play through again and insert this six, two, five, one chord sequence in our progression. playing over this new set of changes is to identify the chord tones to each chord and we can do this by learning our arpeggios. So to start F sharp 7 is made up of the notes F sharp, A sharp, C sharp, and E. B minor 7 is made up of B, D, F sharp, and A. Uh, e7 is made up of E, G sharp, B, and D. And then A7 is A, C sharp, E, and G. Now this first example I'm gonna play uh, builds a line that navigates through these chords using just these chord tones over each chord. So one of the four notes that makes up the chord over each chord. Check it out. Now the great thing about a 6-2-5-1 chord progression is that it introduces some functioning dominant chords. Now a functioning dominant chord is just a dominant 5 chord or any chord in the progression that is functioning as a dominant 5 chord. So this 6 dominant chord moving to this 2 minor chord is actually a 5 to 1 cadence. F sharp 7 is the 5 chord of B minor and you can see visually on the guitar that this movement from 
F sharp to B is very similar to the movement of the five chord E back to A. So these are both five dominant chords that are resolving. And these functioning dominant chords um, really lend themselves to adding some altered upper extensions on top of the chord to get a more expanded, jazzier kind of sound. So this next example is similar to something uh, you might hear Grant Green play um, that uses some of these altered colors over the functioning dominant chords. <laughs> Okay, so for this final example, I'm going to continue to use some of our altered chord tones over these dominant chords, but I'm also going to tie things together with some chromatic passing notes to give us a really traditional kind of jazz bebop sound. Um, now when I'm thinking about these types of lines, I'm really focusing on the chords, the chord tones, and then different things I can embellish the chords with, such as the flat nine and different altered notes like that. Okay, so hopefully this gives you some food for thought when it comes to playing over the blues. Um, I'll leave you by playing out to the track I played at the beginning of the video uh, so you can hear some of these ideas in action. As always, thank you for watching, thank you for your support, and I will see you next time. Take care. Thank you.